Hi and thanks for watching this tutorial on how to install Ubuntu Linux 14.4 on a Windows PC. You're going to need a USB stick or a pen drive for this tutorial, ideally something around 4 gigs in size. And you're also assuming here that we're running Windows Vista, XP or one of the more recent Windows versions. Head on over to our website www.linuxnewbieguide.org for more tutorials as well as handy tips. We've got lots of videos and guides over there. But first, let's go over to ubuntu.com, click on Ubuntu Desktop in the Downloads section, and then choose the right flavor for you, 32-bit or 64-bit. If you've got a modern machine, then it's safe to assume that it's a 64-bit. On the next screen, you can just scroll to the bottom and click Not Now, Take Me to the Downloads. They're asking for donations there. Your download's going to kick off now, and depending on the size of your connection, this is going to take a few minutes. This, this ISO here, ISO image, or CD image, is 981 megabytes in size, so it's larger than a CD-ROM. Uh, so ideally, you're using a DVD or a pen drive, uh, a USB stick. So with that said, let's head over to pendrivelinux.com and click on the link for Universal USB Installer. When you see that, scroll to the bottom of the page and you'll see there's a link showing you the download. Click on the link and it will quickly download to your machine. It's only a megabyte in size. Open that up in Windows Explorer and hopefully by now uh, your Ubuntu desktop ISO image will have downloaded as well as the executable for the pen drive installer. First step when you run the installer for the pen drive is to select Ubuntu as that's the distribution of Linux we're downloading here and choose that ISO file that you just downloaded. Next step is to check where you're actually going to install the ISO image onto and that in our case is the E drive where the USB stick is now inserted. Press the yes button when you're ready to start the installation and this process does take a little while once uh, your, uh, once you're off and away. So we've sped it up for you just so it doesn't take so long uh, but it shows you the idea for the uh, for copying it and into a USB stick. Whilst you're waiting for this to finish it's a good chance to visit our website www.linuxnewbieguide.org for all of the latest hints, tips and tutorials. Okay, now it's finished, your uh, USB stick will have been completely formatted and is empty. Uh, now it's got the uh, new Linux uh, installation on it and you can restart your computer. What you need to do is make sure that the computer starts up from the USB stick rather than the usual Windows computer. So you need to go into computer's BIOS menu or setup menu. In this case, it was the F10 key, as you can see on the screen here, but your computer might be different. It might be F1 or delete or insert. Either way, have a look around or read on Google what your, what your device is, what your PC is. What we're doing here is changing the, U, the boot order to be USB device first. So the first device that the computer will boot to uh, will be the USB stick rather than your hard drive. So obviously if there's no USB stick, it ignores that and goes straight to the uh, Windows partition. So that's that. That's all you have to do in this particular part. Your computer should be now ready to start up from the USB stick now that you've told the BIOS to, to look at the USB.